Okay, so when you start collecting trick locks, um, one of the first types of trick locks you'll come across very quickly are Indian trick locks. Um, there are a god of all man out there, hundreds and hundreds of video, uh, trick locks from in, from India, and they all come from an area, most of them be um, Algar, uh, Algar, I think it's called, um, but then most of them will have this stamp into this area where they're from uh, a lot of them made in the streets by hand uh, there's lots and lots of them about um just watch out as well because you can places like ebay people do put these up as antique locks and this and everything they're not these could be 30 40 years old they could have been made yesterday um you know so they, there's a lot of fakeness things come out and you know just be careful then they're, they're not hugely valuable uh some with nice tricks um, uh, you know, a good money, a reasonable money. I mean, some of them are, are valuable, but, uh, you know, you've got to make sure where you buy them from. Just be careful of places like eBay. Uh, so I've got a few here today to show you. Uh, they've, they've got similar tricks. Um, so if you don't want to know the tricks, you know, please stop now. Uh, these are all well known, the tricks that are inside them. So I don't think I'm giving too much away with these. Uh, they're, they're pretty simple and basic and just nice, fun pieces that I've got in the collection. Uh, so first of all, we've got this lock. Uh, it comes with two keys. Uh, so you'll open the uh, keyhole cover and the lock won't open. So you're not sure why. And basically, you've got to cut out on the key. You'll push this back, turn the key, uh, and so you know you can then unlock the lock. So the trick is basically, is once the key's in, is to close the cover again, and then it can work. So a nice little trick. Um, you know, if you've never come across stuff like this before, um, it can fool people, so that's quite nice, nice little lock, I like that. Uh, and then we've got this one, which is like based more on a traditional type of padlock. And again, it comes with a couple of keys. Uh, you'll open the keyhole, uh, put the key in, and again, the key don't work. Uh, and a similar idea, this time, uh, it's the position of the actual cover, uh, the scratchin cover. So you've got, you know, you've got to move it to nine o'clock. When you get it to nine o'clock, then the lock will work. So pretty basic and straightforward uh, position. Of and you see these things popping up here, there and everywhere. So again, I don't think I'm giving too much away and not hugely complicated. I mean, if you've never seen anything like this before uh, or if you were trying to pick it or something like that, that would make a difference, obviously, because you wouldn't know that, where that had to actually be. Uh, but again, once you get in the realms of collecting this stuff, then it doesn't take long to work out. So we got this lock now. It's quite light, actually. It's not... Very tinny, um, so this is a, a number 70 lock, and it comes with one key. Uh, and, you know, obviously this looks like it's the uh, the keyhole cover here, and you, your, your route round, and this, that, and the other. And then uh, what what you, what I usually do is, when I get something like this, not only will I look at the lock, I'll study the key. And then I realise there's something odd about the top of the key, and that gives me a hint to what... No, unlocks this lock so you'll unlock it i mean it quite it doesn't take you long to realize it the, the side is what opens and not the keyhole cover uh, and then when you start to route around you'll realize that one of the rivets can actually you can fit the can underneath and lift the lift the rivet and when you lift the rivet uh that will let the side pop out and then it's like a, a screw design you've got the end of the key that screws on this post um like so and then when you screw when you when you, you screw it right on, and you'll get to a certain point, and then the lock will open. So again, nice little trick. Yeah, you know, quite well hidden. Um, you know, unless you unless you knew what you was looking for, that's fairly well hidden. But the key gives it away. I mean, obviously, if you was a burglar, you wouldn't have the key. But I think that's quite nice. And then we come to a, a number seventy-seven, which is obviously made by the same person, very similar. Uh, but this time we've got two keys. Uh, and your your look around the lock again, um, you you know the, nothing moves, bits and pieces. But this time there's no rivets to lift up. There's a hole in the bottom of the lock, uh, and then you can take this first key, uh, and when you put the key in, you can literally push the back of the lock this time, and that allows the side to flip open. So push, and there you go. And uh, same difference again. You've got the screw design that you'll screw the end of the key on. And a lot will happen. So, you know, these, I think, these are lovely, you know, lovely things to have. Uh, and if, if you don't know how to do that, that all looks really, really simple. You think, oh, that's not very hard. 
but I can near, near enough guarantee if I give you one of these locks and you've never seen anything like that, you, you know, they wouldn't be opening them straight away. So regardless of how basic that looks when I'm showing you, um, you know, if you don't know anything about trick locks and how they work, it, it can leave you scratching your head for a little while. Anyway, hope you like it. Cheers.